Hi everyone, I'm in Haxt and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. Here we are back in the base. And you might notice down there in the left corner that we now have the jetpack, which is great. And you can probably notice that we've added another floor just there. Uh, as you can see, we've got some black powder production underway there. The sulfur and charcoal, sorry, coal going into the machine, to the assembler. Uh, another machine there, which I've been using to make steel ingots, sorry, steel uh, components that has run out of steel ingots. But automating more of the base, of course we've uh, now connected the two power grids that we had separate. Uh, we had a separate power grid for the oil station and this main base and the coal station. And we've now connected them all together and also the sulphur mine and Caterium mine. Everything on the same grid now, it's about 625 megawatts in total I believe. What I really should do of course is to transfer all of the coal stations down to near the coal mines so that they're just fed directly from the coal mines rather than having to rely on trucks transporting stuff. I've just launched the pod which unlocks the rifle uh, which I'll show you here. Another one of those hidden ones that I didn't know existed until I'd uh, unlocked, uh, done the research on different things. I can't remember quite what it was. It was the let me see, it was doing the research on the explosives that unlocked the rifle for me. So it comes floating around a bit now with the jetpack, which is great fun. I'm going to try and put together one of the rifles, which is not quite as easy as it might sound, fortunately. Luckily we do have most of the high order stuff all ready to go. There's maybe a slight shortage of steel pipe. The machine that, want, that I'm using to make the heavy modular frames uh, needs to use steel pipe as well, so it's been fed into there and we need a lot of this black powder just waiting for some to be made up. Fifty should be enough. I make now. I'll make a few bullets. I'm going to need those, of course. little bit of handcrafting here. Still haven't tried out the parachute yet. I have to give that a go. I have everything I need to make it, it's just a matter of locating it and getting it all into the same place. With a little bit of crafting too, probably. It 
So, copper wire. Never thought I'd run out of copper wire. ingots haven't been over to the copper mine for a while we've got a little gas area a gas zone just near the edge of the copper mine here Carefully, we have a power slug over there in the middle. for these, just so that I can store them before they're fed into the machine. That should do. Not quite straight, but close enough. First of the power pole Mark IIs I've built with the Caterium Quickwire. They can uh, handle eight connections instead of just the normal four. Not that there's any particular reason for that here, but uh, it's interesting. There we go. megawatts. I think maybe one of the bio generators that was on earlier must have run out of fuel. Not that it's an issue as you can see. I think we must have had every single machine running to have been getting uh, problems with the power earlier. That's why I built a seventh power station. I think sixth and seventh power station. truck out there that's supposed to be doing an automatic delivery. I'll have to go and find out what's happening. Can't afford for the power stations to run out of coal. I don't think the remaining stations would have enough power to keep the base running.
Let's go track him down. He'll have just run out of fuel along the way somewhere. I should really hook up a storage box with fuel stored that it can load. Because I believe the truck stops will refuel uh, the trucks as well if they've got enough, if they've actually got the fuel. There we go. Very interesting little tunnel there. I'm looking forward to being able to go up and have a look. It's another one of the areas that uh, is blocked by a gas zone. So as soon as I get the gas mask unlocked, which is the next milestone, We'll be able to go and have a look. Let's see what our friend is doing here. I don't really want to get stuck behind him. Oh, in front of him, I should say. See if I can pick up some extra coal. I need a little bit extra for the black powder manufacturing. There's always a bit stored in each machine, so I can raid those and let them uh, replace it over time. It won't actually affect the functioning of any of the machines as such. Just use a little bit more electricity. Don't think that even interrupted the power. This is where I really should be building my big coal power station. corner a bit too tight there.
Now that I've got the jetpack, I'll have to start climbing some of these higher peaks. I probably should streamline my my automated systems a little bit. We are starting to get a little bit of lag here and there, I think, uh, because I've got so many machines running. Whoa! Plenty of coal. Steel production starting up again. Excellent. Should have a bit of black powder by now. Top this up. I believe it's two sulfur to every unit of coal for the black powder. We've got everything we need for the gun now. We should have at least. like I'll have to go and get some oil soon. It's amazing how quickly we go through all the plastic. Just double check we haven't got any oil left over lying around anywhere. I'm pretty sure I unloaded it all. Still need 10 circuit boards. There we go. A few more bullets wouldn't hurt. I guess 20 will have to do for now.
very nice. Especially the little key ring on the side. Don't really have anything to shoot though. I'm not especially keen on shooting the native wildlife that uh, isn't actually attacking me. Does appear to be a gun though. Fire rate's okay. The beams need to go. I shouldn't call them girders. I do enjoy the new jetpack, as you can probably tell. Let's see if we can find some steel ingots to put into the steel machine get some steel pipes happening. Should have a fair few in here. Yeah, full. over to the pipes. It's sometimes difficult to work out what you should keep on you and what you should uh, store. Now I think my next target for analysis is to make 10 of these supercomputers which isn't an easy task. There's quite a few components to them. But we can start gearing up anyway. So it contains two ordinary computers, two AI limiters, three high-speed connectors, and 21 plastic. ordinary computer is almost as complex.
need a lot of these. By my estimate, at least a hundred for this particular thing. going to need a few of those. Two for each supercomputer, so that's 20. a few extra while I'm at it. Looks like I'm going to need a lot of cable. I might need to change one of these machines over to building cable. This one was doing it, but I stopped it. I might need to switch it back over again. That's good. <laughs> I've arrived just at the right time. that recipe. I don't think I'm losing anything there, except a little bit of time. Okay, get the cable making online. It's certainly better than standing there holding down the mouse button for 20 minutes at a time. Not that I've done that. out of fuel. <laughs> Try not to get run down, run down by my own truck. Fuel, I think.
try and refuel him. There we go. I think disable the autopilot. Jump out. Refuel. And then re-enable the autopilot. Should do the trick. Looks like he was uh, already fuel already fueled up. I did load up the truck stop with some fuel, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Problem is he's going to start his program from the beginning again. Oh well. I think we will make a little journey over to the oil, our oil fields, pick up a big load of oil to bring back to make plastic from. Before I go though, I will put in some pipes and things into these machines. Let's see if we can make a few more heavy modular frames while we're away. It never gets old watching those elevators. Hopefully we won't run into our automated truck, truck coming the other way. I didn't see if he went past, he probably has by now. I've pretty much worked out a standard, ru standard route to the oil and Caterium mines now. Lucky. Now that the uh, power lines are in, it also makes it hard to get lost on the way. I could clear it out a little bit more, but it's still pretty obvious the route to use. 
I haven't gotten lost yet. <laughs> so it can't be too bad. There probably is a more direct route uh, if I went straight ahead there. But I guess I'm playing it safe by sticking to the route that I know is clear. I assume as I become more familiar with the area I might find a better way to go through. I'm glad I waited before I uh, explored the islands over there. I didn't even know that I'd be able to upgrade to a gun. But it's certainly going to be a lot better to try and uh, get over to that pod there with a gun that uh, works a bit better than that rebar gun did. I'm pretty sure I got a headshot on one of the, the local um, animals that charge at you with the rebar gun and it had no effect. I think I got I think I got it a couple of times in a row and it had no effect. This is uh, very time consuming. And luckily, I just tried that, which is to hold down control and drag something. And it looks like it just drags everything of the same type. That's fantastic. It's going to save me so much work. There you go. I never even thought to try it before. I tried right click, but that uh, just lets you split a stack. Oh. I've wasted so much time because if you double click it just uh, puts the oil straight into the fuel tank of the truck and if you double click again it just doesn't do anything. So I'll just try and pick up as much oil as I can.
I don't think today's the day. I'd probably better go and have a look at the other installation just to make sure everything's running the way it should. Yeah, everything seems to be fine. I can see the oil feeding into the refinery, so it should be fine. I'm still not sure if I'd send a truck on uh, automatic pilot down here. I guess it could be done. They seem to work pretty well. I think though there's a couple of trees I would cut down just so they don't get stuck. There's some very narrow fits on part of the path. could dig out that copper there probably, or iron actually I think it might be. A little bit <laughs> rocky here, <laughs> try not to crash into the poles, would be optimal. fairly clear all of the way down here it does a pretty good job uh, when you record the route of remembering the speeds and uh, braking maneuvers and things like that I think now hopefully we won't run into our truck coming the other way it has happened before Oh, here it comes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. No damage, though. And it doesn't seem to have bothered my truck much, either. Well, <laughs> maybe a bit. It does seem to be a little bit off course. Just better make sure I'm not in the way. No, nope, looks like he's fine. I better get going before he catches up.
Boy, I've been up this hill a few times now. I guess I'll record the route the next time I go out there and uh, see what happens. Maybe give it a try. I've got a few idle tractors sitting here, I might as well get them onto it. And here we are. Beautiful home sweet home. Full load of oil. Looks like I've got a bit of unloading to do, not that it's going to take me very long. <laughs> and some more component making to work on this next milestone. So we might call it a day there and I will talk to all of you tomorrow and show you where we're up to. Have a great day or night everyone depending on where you are and I'll see you next time.